I think I'm sure. Oh, there's an episode set. There we go. We can see this game. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey what is up there everybody welcome back to our another YouTube video and today we're gonna show you guys the new update here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition which is the Warden update. So we've been longing for this update since a very long time from now and as you can see in one of my previous video I actually tried to see the Warden and failed epically. So obviously at that time the Warden update hasn't been added in Minecraft Bedrock Edition since there's a lot of development in our Warden because it can't be that the same damage or the same information or coding that they can have to put here in Bedrock Edition from Java Edition. And in this video, we're gonna have to check out this Warden update. And before we start, before we get right into the video, you know the drill. Give a like in this video if you do like this video. Also hit the subscribe button right now down below and slap the bell notification icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff, okay? But now, Let's go right into it and let's get started. So alright, we have a lot of experiments we're gonna have to do in this Warden update, but first we're gonna have to try to see when the Warden update in the old ways, since there's actually unspawned egg in the Warden update, and you can just spawn the Warden without using the old ways, but I don't have to try to see when the old ways, okay? So we're gonna have to try doing this, so we're gonna need this last uh, thing which is the skulk shrieker and also this uh, skulk sensor so i don't know if this uh, salt uh, skulk sensor is actually necessary for this but i'm gonna have to try doing it okay so we might gonna need this enable to have the wardens for some sort of the senses where he can actually sense all the maps or at nearby areas so we're gonna have to try doing it at the night mode since the warden is afraid at the um it's actually afraid from the sun. Alright, so we're gonna have to try summoning it by stepping on it. And as you can see, um, the skull shaker is actually flowing, some, I mean, glowing in some ways, giving like some sort of waves. And we have here a darker effect, or I mean, darkness effect. Alright, not gonna lie, I'm starting to hear a lot of like weird noises already. And as you can see, the skull sensor is really helping the skull shaker. Alright, so I'm gonna have to try stepping it one more time, and let's see if I can actually see in this baby. Alright, so I'm 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 getting I'm hearing like a very weird noises and scary noises right now. I don't know why. Wait, I think it's actually working. I'm gonna lie, I think it's actually working. There we go. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh this. Oh, cool. So we can actually swim in the warden in the old ways. Very cool. Look at this. So we can't uh, see him clearly, but we can uh, clearly see his um, part of his body, which is actually growing, especially his horn. And as you can see, I think it can actually sense me wherever I go since we put the sensor in it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to try to ourselves some egg of a night mission. So we can see this warden and we may or we might gonna counter this darkness effect. So I'm too lazy to uh, remove the darkness effect so we have to use it for the night vision, okay? Alright, so we can clearly see the warden and I think it's a little wider than the iron golem since the iron golem is a bit tall or thinner. But the warden is clearly faster and wider and it has more muscle in it. Right, we can see a zombie approaching with a bone. I don't know why we're actually gonna do, but we can clearly see the sensor. I mean, the skull sensor is actually helping the warden able to um sense all the maps in its nearby areas. Very cool. I actually uh, know this um, kind of update very late since I'm very busy to school. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to try to kill it first. So I'm gonna have to try resuming it using the egg and without doing the old ways. The old ways is pretty cool and pretty scary, not gonna lie, so we're gonna have to time set everything for the day so we can remove all the unnecessary mobs and as you can see it actually dropped some sort of meat which is a raw like raw pork chop. 
I don't know if this warden update is some sort of thing, but we can actually it can actually drop three raw pork chop. All right, let's try breaking these things up, and we're gonna do is we're gonna have to try doing it in the old ways. But first, let me put my stuff in this chest, so we're done. We don't gonna need that now. So let's open this one, and we can see here an egg and a snowball. So this snowball is just some sort of experiment where if it can actually sense using the skull sensor we might gonna throw some um snowballs right to the area so we can actually see if the warden is gonna approach from the sound and it might gonna i mean the skull sensor might be a real thing in this bedrock edition so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to try summoning it and there we go and as you can see it's night day i mean it's night day. i mean it's it's day and the sun is um still approaching to us the sun is still present so we might gonna see that the warden is afraid of the sun so it only um, came out at night or it might gonna go to the surface at night and it's very weird when it tried to dig underground because it's just gonna disappear like nothing all right so let's try to do a resummon in this one so maybe we can do it at the night time and now we're at the night time so we're gonna have to try summoning this one okay so first let's call the warden and i don't know if it can actually sense without the skull sensor so but still i'm gonna put the skull sensor because it literally i mean it basically as you can see actually helping so then i try it to be ourselves a night vision and we can see the area and as you can see let me spoon again and let me throw a snowball on this part i don't know if it's actually working oh oh it's actually working so as you can see, if I throw a snowball right to the ground, it actually trying to approach to the sound using the skull sensor. The skull sensor is the one who's sensing it for the warden. And what I think it is pretty cool. Look at it. So I don't know if the warden can sense anything since the warden is blind. If you don't know, the warden is actually uh, probably blind. I can see no eyes and I can only see its heart and also its mouth. So, oh, it tried to intimidate the creeper oh no we actually killed the creeper all right moving on to the next one so we're gonna have to try to challenge this uh, warden so we're gonna have to try to see when the iron golem and is no golem reason why i actually um involved is no golem so i'm gonna have to try if he can actually um defeat someone with a projectile um weapons such as the snow golem since the snow golem can th uh, throw snow right to the warden so first is um, let's see the warden and let's um put the pumpkin in it and let's try one v one this time so as you can see the warden has more muscle in it and it can actually break the iron golem for like three to four rounds or three to four punch so let's try doing it to the snow golem snow golem has projectiles such as snow but it's still too weak since it's not that durable and all it can do is uh, throw a snowball so let's try doing giving them a distance to give them an advantage so they're um, hitting it but i see oh, oh so basically the warden is way too fast for them and way too durable so warden for the win so we have to try doing it to throw yard golems for this last round so oh the iron golem is just killing all the zombies all right 2d1 so here we go one down and two down to go Oh, two down to go. Okay, so we have here the last one. So we're gonna have to try throwing some snowball so the warden may approach to the iron golem. There we go. So we actually killing each other. And boom, there you go. It's a wrap app. So let me put all this stuff back so we don't need it. Alright, so next up is we're gonna have to go against the I mean the warden. So we're gonna have to go against the warden. So let me grab all the stuff we needed. So I don't put enchantments on it, so we're only gonna put normal one. So let's see how strong is the warden is without any enchantments. So we're gonna have to uh, try to put the strongest armor here in Minecraft, which is the netherite tools. So we're gonna have to put all the armors. There we go. Alright, we're fighting it with a shield and let's try to see it and let's blow the horn of the horn wall. There we go. Alright, so let's try approaching it. Alright. Come here, come here. Oh it's fast. It's fast. I can my projectile is useless. Alright. Out of the way, trash. Alright, 
so I don't need you. I only want to fight the warden. Come on. Alright, so let's try throwing a projectile. As you can see, the warden is right off my back, and the creeper just exploded. So let me try pulling it some bow in this one, and let's try hitting it. Bam! Oh, oh, bro, this small fry. I mean, this the random, uh, like the random mob. Oh, so basically, those random mobs are the zombies, and everyone is coming to kill me with the warden. So it's pretty much unfair. Alright, so if we time set the day, as you can see, the warden is actually trying to crawl underground or trying to dig underground because you don't want to go to the surface if it's um daytime. So the blowhorn is actually pretty cool if I say so. So let me put all the stuff back so we don't need that one. So we're moving on to our last experiment, which if we can summon the warden using the command box, so we can actually do a lot of stuff in this one. So let me try to put the um, command block in this one and let me try putting the uh, sensor and one command block right to the side. So I don't want to put the command block right beside it because it actually can trigger the commands multiple times since you can use it as a redstone. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm um, going to have to <laughs> throw all these buttons and let me try summoning the warden using a command. So I think we can actually do it. Alright, what we're gonna do is try to do this simple command which we do summon and we have to put Minecraft just to be sure. There we go, Minecraft. And put this stuff and we're gonna have to put Ward in it. There we go. So let's um, exit. So we don't need to put it to repeat. I'm sure I need rest on Let's put a button. So not lever. Right. So let me put a button, snake. There we go. Put it, boom. And hit it. And there we have, you can see the ward is actually crawling underground or is actually trying to dig underground since it's daytime. So probably that's how you see the ward in. It's just very simple. It is no hard stuff. So as you can see, I'm trying to see the ward and I'm actually trying to crawl underground. They're, like just, they're, they're just like vampires. So pretty much it. I think that'll be it for a video. And I do hope you enjoyed a little experiment for this time. And yeah. If you don't know that you can actually summon the warden here in Minecraft Battle Edition, go to your Minecraft now and try summoning the warden or you might want to try challenging it with your friends that would be fun. But now, thank you for watching and if you do like this video, give a like, hit the subscribe button and slap that notification bell so you can always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff. Follow me at Facebook, TikTok and also my Twitter. But now guys, thank you for watching, love you all, peace out, bye bye, and I am seeing you next time in another Minecraft video, okay? But now guys, peace out, bye bye, and see you next time.